Hey, welcome to Cat Academy. My name is Akil Smith. And in this video, I will show you how to implement a T fit for using the software application LogiSync. If you haven't watched the video that shows the implementation of the D fit for, please go back and watch that video before watching this video. Because some things from the from that video you will need to know. Welcome back to LogiSync. Before I started recording, I placed the items I will need to build the T-Platform on the canvas. Remember, we are going to use the Boolean equations that my colleague Asha got from her mapping the T-Platform inputs, which are TA, TB, and TC. So let's get started. Starting with TA. TA is, is equals to not A, B, C, plus A, B, not C. And that can be read as T is equal to not A and B and C or A and B and not C. So we already have our two AND gates here and our R gate. So let's look for not A and connect it to our first AND gate. Now we'll look for B and connect that to the same AND gate. Finally, we will look for C and connect that to the same AND gate. That completes not A and not B and B and C. Next, we have A and B and not C. So we already have our AND gate here. So first, we will look for A and connect that to the second AND gate. Now we look for B and connect that to the same AND gate. Finally, we look for not C and connect that to the same AND gate. Now to play it all together, we will connect the two AND gates to the R gate. Finally, we'll connect our R gate to our T flip flop I have labeled as A. And that's it for our TA. Hi guys, I have forgot to mention that my colleague Kiara, when she was doing these date tables, she used Q2, Q1, and Q0, but we will use A to represent Q2, B to represent Q1, and C to represent Q0, and that can be seen on the left-hand corner, in the left-hand corner on the canvas. Next, we will move on to TB. TB is equals to not A plus not C. This can be read as TB is equals to not A R, not C. So first, we will connect not A to the R gate. Next, we will connect not C to that same R gate. Finally, we will connect that R gate to the T flip flop labeled as B. And that's it for our TV. Let me just label the wires. Next, we have TC. TC is equals to not A, B, not C, plus A, not B, plus A, C. This can be read as not A and B and not C or A and not B or A and C. So let's start with not A, B, not C. First, we'll look for not A and connect it to the first and gate there. 
Next, you will look for B and connect it to that same angle. Now we'll connect not C to that and gate. But before we can do that, we have to click on the gate, go across the attribute table and change the number of inputs to three. Now let's connect not C to the gate. Next we have A and not B. So let's look for A and connect it to the gate. Then we'll look for not B and connect it to the gate as well. Finally, we have A and C. So we'll connect A to the last AND gate and C to that same AND gate. Now to put it all together, we'll connect the three AND gates to the R gate here. Now we'll connect the R gate to the flip flop, to the T flip flop labeled as C. Now I'm going to connect the clock and the LEDs to the flip flops. As mentioned earlier, if you haven't watched the video that shows the implementation of the Z flip flop, please go back and watch that. In that video, I mentioned what the clock and the LEDs are used for. Now, to, to show you how the flip flop works, I will hit Ctrl K on my keyboard. Thank you for watching.